all right what's up with youtube fam i'm back again with another video so listen man this story right here you know what i'm saying it's kind of touchy for me because y'all already know how i am about them kids man it just be a messed up situation when people be neglecting them and doing certain things to them and stuff like that but long story short i'm pretty sure y'all seen from the title and if i didn't get to put it in the title for the lace y'all look real quick about the situation at hand so basically long story short it's a lady who addressed another lady for actually leaving the children inside of their car while they was inside gambling at first i seen like a mini video but now i got the full thing so we're gonna watch the full thing to see exactly what's going on with this whole situation so yeah i'm gonna tell y'all what i feel about this during the video and after the video if you don't want to hear me talking at any point in time during this video that's on my channel y'all already know y'all can just get up off here go find it somewhere so if you can find it if you can't find it that's on you i really don't give it anybody you know it so it is what it is but to all my loyal supporters and my new supporters man y'all already know i'm not talking to y'all when i say that all i want y'all to do is hit that like button for me and tell me what y'all feel about everything in the comment section and uh yeah man add my second and third youtube channel and add all my social medias as well facebook snapchat instagram all is gonna be in the comment section if y'all want to add those if y'all don't want to add none of that i ain't doing no triple or none of that let's get into it and see what's going on with this situation man and like i said before i haven't seen everything so if something is gruesome or something that's out of you know out of line or something like that i can't post it on here so yeah i just gotta let y'all know that ahead of time but anyways man let's go to get into it and see what's going on you okay man how the hell does this happen to me there's three little kids in the car three damn here one is I'm a lying, three. I'm dying. Oh, they baby oh babies. God. They can't even defend themselves for nothing. That's sad, bro. Thank you. Good luck. And they got a whole Are these your kids out here in the car? Are you just leaving your kids out here in the car? Am I gonna have to whoop your ass too? Like the last bitch that left her kids in the car? You got here with your kids, dude. Girl, get your goddamn ass up. I'm talking about you all. Dude, that's not even cool. How old are these kids? Weird oh, fucker. Well, the police are on their way. I hope you know. That is not cool. You don't leave little kids like that in the car. Hell no. They're not fucking done. How do you know you're right back here? She's got little kids. She said they're fine. Man, them is three adorable little babies it, it, it's a difference man you know what i'm saying well it's really not because children are children but they are so small man they can't even help themselves and there's so many wicked and cruel people out here in this world for you to actually not want them in your eyesight i don't see how people can be without their children at every waking moment when they are with them now it's a it's now it's understandable when they are gone and stuff like that you just can't be with them you know what i'm saying but why while we're together i'm gonna watch everything that you're doing i'm gonna watch every move you you make well really if it make no moves without me but i'm gonna be on your ass everywhere we go you know what i'm saying it's just how I'm, i mean that's how i'm wired and i'm pretty sure all of the parents out there are the same way you know what i'm saying and i say parents because people that's moving like this ain't parents they just bullshit they just doing something they tired of the kids i guess ain't no way in the hell i'm a little an addiction to gambling have me not you know what i'm saying like not being attentive to my children but let's get back into it though y'all know i have to stop and pause and holler at y'all real quick I'm talking about they fine. You better be gone quicker than that. How does this happen to me? I'm not, but how does the fuck does that happen to me? Dumbass. So this her. So just to clear the air, um, in my previous video was uh, uh, where the girl left her kids in the car. Mm. She had asked me to take the video down. Um, Hell no. I was just going to say that since you're watching my page, I absolutely will not to bring that video down. <laughs> Straight it's up. not to make me look like a hero or to shame you. It's simply there because this stuff really happens and here's proof that it happens. Um, women like you do leave <clears throat> excuse me, small children in the car. Okay, sex trafficking, that happens. Kidnappings, that happens. Right here in our county, girl. Thanks. So, it's not to expose you, but simply to expose the fact that this stuff happens and to bring awareness to it, not for you or for anybody's uh, to become any kind of hero but or to shame you, but it happens. And if somebody sees it, then it, they ignore it, then they're no better than you. Um, because it happens and so what you did is not okay you can't leave yep. your kids in the car it i mean and don't be surprised if you don't have warrants for for leaving your kids in the car i mean charges can be brought upon you girl you're lucky that they didn't that i didn't call the police and that i did come in there and correct you because what i did made you go out there to them kids 
and if I didn't do it for you or for anybody else. Girl, I did it for your kids, and you'll thank me later. You'll thank me later. That store that you left them at, it was robbed a few a few days before that, and I think you know that. Mm. Okay, you had two little girls in the back seat. Your kids are beautiful. Anybody, it's a disgrace to the women that can't have kids for you to do that because they would love to have your kids. Do you know how uh, they would love to have your kids? And so for you to just leave them in the car while you're in there with two men mm. on the gambling machines justify that make that okay you know losing money because no matter what history meter you have or ever have it's never going to be okay to leave your kids in the car no matter what you say that i do it will never add up to you leaving your kids in the car that's three lives you put in jeopardy out there and Thanks. had i not came in and, and shamed you the way i did them kids would have been left in the car longer and the lady that ran the store she agreed with me and i think everybody in that room does so yep, everybody over here you have too. your own parenting skills to work out. Um, I really don't know who gives you kids. I mean, anybody in their right mind knows don't give you kids. So if that's the problem that you have with me, then come solve it because nobody should give you <laughs> kids, true. and I'll never ever change the way I feel about that. Have a and look. I mean, like she said, you whatever you're trying to say don't amount to this. She's totally right, and I'm totally in agreement with what she did and how she did it, and she deserves to be shamed. You know what I'm saying? Like I said before in another video, I know some of y'all, you know, we all got our different opinions and shit like that, but I feel like that, you know, certain personal things shouldn't be exposed to the internet, but things like this, man, I don't give a damn who shared and posted, whatever the case may be, because it shouldn't have never happened in the first place. You really out here mishandling these children, you know, and it's, it's a disgrace to real parents that's there as well, you know what I'm saying? You know, the real active parents, not the ones who be faking this stuff like they real parents and they've been doing this and they've been doing it. I'm talking about the ones who are really there every day, every step of the way, or as much as they can be, because I know everybody can't be there every day. It's a disgrace to us as well, you know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, shit... We putting in all this work and willing to help other people with their children as well. And you right. just out here letting, you know, some of the weirdest shit put them in a compromising position. You know what I'm saying? What I mean by that is letting a, a gambling addiction, because it's obviously an addiction, makes you leave them children out there like that. It's sad and it's weird as hell. Let's get back into it, though. Safe day, girl. Every kids it wasn't in the car when you did this to me. Oh, man, she done put her tires on flat. She mad as hell about that video. So apparently I can't give um, an update on the videos that I recently posted because my account is at risk for being um, taken down. She, she reporting the hell out of her. The only thing I can think of that I did wrong was speak up and defend children um, and speak on behalf of all the other parents around the world and everybody else who agrees that parents shouldn't leave their children in the car. Thanks. If I'm wrong for that, I'm sorry. Um, however, I can't understand why it's put my account at risk. I mean, a lot of it takes a lot of people a lot of time to get as many follows, likes, and views as I have received in just the past four days. So, if it shuts me out, just know, guys, that I'm still out here defending these children. You she reported you. That's all. Are you just leaving your kids out here in the car? Am I going to have to whoop your ass too, like the last? I wanted to weigh in on this one because I think a lot of people are missing the actual point here. Who is this? Um, <clears throat> obviously, it's not okay to leave your children in the car while you go gamble. That's who, fucked up. Who but is this? Let's talk about the real problem. Let's talk about the very sane, successful, prestigious, whatever, business owner that owns your establishment who decided to make a shitty moral decision. And because he could, or she could, jump through a hoop and a loop in the system and put all them little fancy machines in that dark little room and decide what the fuck you work out, man. Yeah, the problem's that guy. No, the fuck, like, no, 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 yes. no, no, I'm not, oh, hell no, we ain't, no, nah, fuck that. That's definitely not the problem. The problem right. is that mediocre mothering that that woman was doing, that, that, that's a that's a bunch of BS in my opinion. This the damn owner ain't got nothing to do with the the mother is doing with them children. Them children should have been at home in a safe, nice area 
you know, getting ready for the next day, school, daycare, or just regular life. They should have been at home, you know what I'm saying, just, just in a safe position, a safe spot, you know what I'm saying, a safe haven. Ain't nowhere in the hill they should be sitting in the vehicle. And then this glass house, you know, well, yeah, some of y'all might not know what I'm talking about when I say glass house. But, you know, it ain't no tin on the windows. So with it not being no tin on the windows, like, come on now. People can actually see them and do whatever they want to do. And then with just a robbery there as well, you know what I'm saying, I wouldn't even be there at all, you know. The business owner... It's not a fault in no way, shape, form, or fashion, in my opinion. Now, you might feel like that over there on your side of, of the screen, but over here, I'm not rocking with that at all. I'm, I am going to listen to her because this is a part of the video, but, like, I'm not, I'm not, that ain't it, in my opinion. Let's get back into it and see what she got to say. She's got problems. But she has trauma, clearly, because no person in right mind would leave their kids in the car while they go gamble. Unless she's just that desperate and she's a really lucky person. I'm not, but she might be. Maybe she walks out of there with $300 and she needed that $300 payment. I don't know. But what I do know is that no, no sane, normal person does these things. So beating her ass is really fucked up when you think about the fact that your boss is the one who put that shit there, knowing what kind of customers he was going to get. Because really, the only people you huh? see at those are the customers y'all don't want anyway. So what the why why are we gonna beat her ass man beat her oh, ass beat her ass oh, whoa 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 whoa, whoa. Clear. i'm not promoting violence i'm just saying you know if she would have did it i wouldn't have had no problem with it but i'm not i'm not telling nobody to go out there and do nothing to nobody i'm not insinuating to harm a person if you do that but if you don't you know so anywhere it go i hey i'm just you know i'm just you know yeah, I know what I'm saying. I'm just trying to let it be known that I'm not promoting violence. It's just whatever she would have been with at that time, I would have been right with it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. Get back into it, though. Got some problems. Get her and her children some help, some, some intensive family services, some intensive family help. And I don't mean call CPS. I mean find a person that will go in and help this family fucking operate. Maybe offer her a job. I don't know if she has if she has money or she needs money or she has a job. Offer her a job. I don't know. But here's my thing. I have this local save a lot. Okay. Mm -hmm. They just started having a Bitcoin machine and selling cigarettes and alcohol and weed and yeah. Man, now weed. they got these gambling machines. And every time people come in, I'm fucking heartbroken because they're scoffed at and they're looked at like trash. But you motherfuckers had to go through a systematic loophole just to take their money and then scoff at how shitty of a person they are because they're there spending it away from their family and their children and whatever else it is you want to beat their ass for. But you guys are creating the problem. The elite, the wealthy, the businessman, the lords and ladies of the fucking system, they're the problem, not that lady. She needs help. That's bullshit. <laughs> that woman needs help, true enough, but she is contributing to her own demise, in my opinion. You know, you got the the choice of free will, you know. I mean, so what the hell would you be choosing to do? Anything else besides making sure your kids are good. You know what I'm saying? They don't make no sense to me. So I'm not going to make no excuse for no grown-ass adult that knew exactly what they were doing was wrong. I'm pretty sure she had multiple thoughts that this wasn't right when she did it. But overall, she just chose something else. She didn't let her better judgment, you know, prevail in this situation. And, I mean, this is the outcome of making dumb decisions. You know, you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. Leaving your children outside to, to the unknown is very ignorant, in my opinion. And I'm still with that i'm not gonna make no excuses for no grown-ass adults maybe she do need some help but shit i'm not gonna sit there and just say that you know the people who own the establishment is the problem and they creating the problems and all the other type of stuff no she's contributing to her own demise and it is what it is i do want to know what y'all feel about everything in the comment section do y'all feel like that this lady is right right here you know what i'm saying i really want to know what y'all feel well fuck that i know that she ain't right but i still want to know what my people that's rocking with me got to say about it shout out to the lady who recorded this shout out to the woman who addressed this you know what I'm saying? I really love the fact that she came the way that she came. I love the fact that she did address her. You know, I'm just glad that somebody actually spoke on this situation. Because I'm pretty sure she'll think twice before doing this again. You know what I'm saying? Especially with everybody seeing it like this. But I do want to know what y'all feel about everything in the comment section, man. Y'all like, comment, subscribe if you like my commentary. If you don't like my commentary, I really don't give a damn. And uh, yeah, man, once again, I want to say shout out to that lady for actually going out there, stepping out. 
and doing what she did for these children. Because obviously, when nobody is going to say nothing, you know, that's just my opinion on it. But I do want to know what y'all feel about everything in the coming session, man. It ain't no excuse to leave your kids out, and I'm sticking with it, and I'm riding with it, and I'm not going to blame nobody else but her. I'll holler at y'all later, though. Yeah, right. Come in. How the hell does this happen to me? There's three little kids in the car. If I'm lying, I'm dying. Oh my God. Thank you. Hey, are these your kids out here in the car? Are you just leaving your kids out here in the car? Am I going to have to whoop your ass too, like the last bitch that left her kids in the car? Get out here with your kids, dude. I am. Like, I can play with the cops. Dude, that's not even cool. How old are these kids? Well, the police are on their way. I hope you know. That is not cool. You don't leave little kids like that in the car. They're fine. They're not fucking fine. How do you know you're leaving that here? She's got little kids out here. You better get gone quicker than that. How does this happen to me? I'm not, but how the fuck does that happen to me? Dumbass. So just to clear the air, um, in my previous video was uh, of where the girl left her kids in the car. She had asked me to take the video down. Um, and I'm just going to say that since you're watching my page, I absolutely will not to bring that video down. It's not to make me look like a hero or to shame you. It's simply there because this stuff really happens and here's proof that it happens. Um, women like you do leave <clears throat> excuse me, small children in the car. Okay, sex trafficking, that happens. Kidnappings, that happens. Right here in our county, girl. So, it's not to expose you, but simply to expose the fact that this stuff happens and to bring awareness to it, not for you or for anybody's uh, to become any kind of hero, but or to shame you, but it happens. And if somebody sees it, then it, they ignore it, then they're no better than you. Um, because it happens and so what you did is not okay you can't leave your kids in the car it I mean and don't be surprised if you don't have warrants for for leaving your kids in the car I mean charges can be brought upon you girl you're lucky that they didn't that I didn't call the police and that I did come in there and correct you because what I did made you go out there to them kids and it, it did I didn't do it for you or for anybody else girl I did it for your kids and you'll thank me later You'll thank me later. That store that you left them at, it was robbed a few a few days before that, and I think you know that. Okay, you had two little girls in the back seat. Your kids are beautiful. Anybody, it's a disgrace to the women that can't have kids for you to do that because they would love to have your kids. Do you know how uh, they would love to have your kids? And so for you to just leave them in the car while you're in there with two men on the gambling machines, justify that. Make that okay. Because no matter what history me or you have or ever have, it's never going to be okay to leave your kids in the car. No matter what you say that I do, it will never add up to you leaving your kids in the car. That's three lives you put in jeopardy out there. And had I not came in there and, and shamed you the way I did, them kids would have been left in the car longer. And the lady that ran the store, she agreed with me. And I think everybody in that room does. So you have your own parenting skills to work out um i really don't know who gives you kids i mean anybody in their right mind knows don't give you kids so if that's the problem that you have with me then come solve it because nobody should give you kids and i'll never ever change the way i feel about that have a safe day girl So apparently I can't give um, an update on the videos that I recently posted because my account is at risk for being um, taken down, deactivated. For what reason? I don't know. The only thing I can think of that I did wrong was speak up and defend children um, and speak on behalf of all the other parents around the world and everybody else who agrees that parents shouldn't leave their children in the car. If I'm wrong for that, I'm sorry. Um, however, I can't understand why it's put my account at risk 
I mean, a lot of it takes a lot of people a lot of time to get as many follows, likes, and views as I have received in just the past four days. So, if it shuts me out, just know, guys, that I'm still out here defending these children. You do the same. Are you just leaving your kids out here in the car? Am I going to have to whoop your ass too, like the last? I wanted to weigh in on this one because I think a lot of people are missing the actual point here. Um, <clears throat> obviously, it's not okay to leave your children in the car while you go gamble. That's fucked up. But let's talk about the real problem. Let's talk about the very s sane, successful, prestigious, whatever, business owner that owns your establishment who decided to make a shitty moral decision. And because he could, or she could, jump through a hoop and a loop in the system and put all them little fancy machines in that dark little room in the side of whatever the fuck you work out, ma'am. Yeah, the problem's that guy. It's not the lady. Yes, she's got problems. But she has trauma, clearly, because no person in the right mind would leave their kids in the car while they go gamble. Unless she's just that desperate and she's a really lucky person. I'm not, but she might be. Maybe she walks out of there with $300 and she needed that $300 payment. I can know. But what I do know is that no, no sane, normal person does these things. So beating her ass is really f***ed up when you think about the fact that your boss is the one who put that shit there, knowing what kind of customers he was going to get. Because really, the only people you see at those are the customers y'all don't want anyway. So what the f Why? Why are we going to beat her ass? How about... Get her therapy. She's clearly got some problems. Get her and her children some help, some some intensive family services, some intensive family help. And I don't mean call CPS. I mean find a person that will go in and help this family operate. Maybe offer her a job. I don't know if she has if she has money or she needs money or she has a job. Offer her a job. I don't know. But here's my thing. I have this local save a lot, okay? They just started having a Bitcoin machine and selling cigarettes and alcohol and weed. And now they got these gambling machines. And every time people come in, I'm heartbroken because they're scoffed at and they're looked at like trash. But you motherfuckers had to go through a systematic loophole just to take their money and then scoff at how shitty of a person they are because they're there spending it away from their family and their children and whatever else it is you want to beat their ass for. But you guys are creating the problem. The elite, the wealthy, the businessman, the lords and ladies of the system, they're the problem, not that lady. She needs help.